Hey guys, Dan here. Just thought I'd give you an updated gym tour. Uh, I'm going to kind of go through everything piece by piece. Please, if you see anything you want reviewed in the comments below, I'm gradually getting to things. But if there's things you guys actually want to hear my thoughts on directly and get a good product review on, let me know and I'll uh, make sure I get those things going first. So, first off, the cornerstone of the gym. Squat rack. Uh, so I have two of these. So this is the 90 inch or 91 inch Titan space saving rack. So these are about 300 bucks. Um, as you can see, it's super simple. Just goes straight into the wall. Had no issues ever with any sort of weight capacity things. We, we benched in the fours on here without a problem. We squatted in the fives plus over here. And then we have the smaller version over there, the short one, it's like 80 inches. So back to this, this is my monster bench station. So Titan Fitness also has these drop-in benches that work with all their racks. They're 100 to 180 bucks depending on what sale's going on. They drop in, they have uh, pins that get them stuck in there, and then you are measured exactly to where you want to be for your bench pressing, which is awesome. Also have the X3 spotter arms, because if you bench good and you're pushing some nice weight, it's just dumb not to have them. Um, and then I did previously have a video on the old version, uh, Rogue Monolift Arms. I had some not great things to say about them, but I love the idea of the Monolift Arms for benching from a safety standpoint. I just don't like lifting off heavy bench presses, and this lets me get away with that. And the new ones from Rogue are much improved. There will be a video on them at some point um, as we go through the channel here. These handles back here are dip horns. So as opposed to what you typically have with dip horns is you have a J cup style here and then two coming out. These ones actually hook in like normal J cups and then you have the handles in the center of your rack. So if you want a specific dip station, it's great. But if you're trying to do dips and something else with your rack and you only have one rack, not as great. All right, continuing on, we have the barbell holders from Titan. I think they're like 50 bucks. A million places make these. They're cheap. They mount easy. No worries. Barbells. We have the Titan, or so not Titan, whew, Texas Power Bars. This is the Branch Warren Partnership one, the, uh, the bodybuilder bar. So it is a 27 millimeter bar. It's Cerakoted. Um, it is the same diameter of a deadlift bar, but if you're Crunched on space, you can't have a long, wide deadlift bar. This is like a shorter version deadlift bar. It's kind of a really happy medium between a power bar and a traditional deadlift bar. Next to it, I got another specialty bar here. This is the uh, Texas Power Bench Press Bar. So if you compete in some federations, they'll actually have a bench press bar. It's a 30 millimeter, so a little thicker than a power bar. Um, and it's cool because it's thicker than, that, than a power bar, so it doubles as a pretty decent squat bar without being quite as long as a normal squat bar. Last guy over here is my most expensive barbell, and I freaking love it. Um, it is the all-arounder from Gunner. It has those fancy collars, and we'll definitely be getting a review on that here in time. I'll pause it. All right, a couple more little accessories on here. Super cheap, basic Harbinger hangers here, so you can put your arms through them and then you do leg lifts with them. It's a fun little bodyweight thing. I don't know that I've ever actually used since I put them up here, but they're here. The Ever Essential Massonomics Drink Spotter. Safety is not an accident. No longer, sir, no longer do you have to use your thousand dollar reverse hyper to hold your cups. Perfection. You guys owe me for that one. So many more free shirts. Uh, over here, is a grip roller. So if you were in middle school, high school, you probably had experience playing with these things. Uh, this one's nice, it's rack mounted, it's from Titan. Um, and I have a dip, or I have a weight pin that I just attached to there. Get some rolls in, some forearm work. The last thing here is we have this no slip bench pad from One Strong Herd. There's a couple companies that make them. Uh, it just prevents your back from slipping. Lots of other ways to work around that that are free. Uh, but I like that it's just a cool thing I can leave on there all the time and I have an issue with. Moving to my Titan Mass Storage. Care if I already did a review on this one or not? 
Um, good things about it and bad things about it. it it's, it's affordable. Um, it does what it's supposed to do, but like Titan sometimes, I, I specifically ran into an issue with it. But it works well. Got kind of stall mat rubber matting here to, to handle the cushion. T-bar row from Titan, super cheap, super effective. Some weight releasers in the back that I need to sell. I don't think anyone ever uses them and I use them like twice. Up top here, these are kind of cool. These are my, my pride and joy heavy dumbbells. So the plates are from a company called Weighted Out and their 10 pound plates are only a half inch thick. So what that means is when I have my Gungner adjustable dumbbells here that can only have 4.25 inches of plates on them, it means instead of only being limited to about an 80 pound dumbbell, I can get all the way to about 100, it's 167 pounds when I have it fully loaded uh, with my weighted out plates. And then again, those are the Gungner dumb dumblers, which are nice. On the bottom shelf here, Intex company that does a lot of commercial gym stuff, actually uh, won uh, kind of a double competition and it gave me gift cards to them, so I had some custom plates made. These are 100 pound solid urethane um, with a customized logo plates. And underneath here, we have all the clubs and maces. I have two brands. On it is the most common brand out there. They're, they're, they're cheap, they're affordable, they're good, they're powder coated. Um, at the time, they didn't have any 45 pounders, so I got a 45, an 85, and a 100 from a company called Great Lakes Gear Up. Um, he makes really good stuff. Uh, definitely pricier though, but if you want heavier than 45, he's like the only place that makes them. So that's what we do there. We got the ever bougie Alenko Oppen collars. I love them, definitely not necessary, but very cool. We have a Steel Maze 20 pounder from Great Lakes Gira as well. I like his because they have the flange on the bottom. You can't even get in there, see, can you? They have a flange on the bottom so you don't slip off if you're swinging crazy, which I'm not good enough to swing crazy yet. I uh, did a review here, just posted. Um, with the competition bells of steel plates, calibrated plates, those are cool. Then we got, of course, our safety arms here. Titan J-Cup rollers, which is are probably the best priced roller J-Cup you can find. And then I got the Tribe Fitness weighted vest. Uh, I like it a little better than the 511, um, and I like it a lot better than the Ken Sui I used to have for what I'm using it for. I do have a video review of the Ken Sweet Vest. Down on the bottom here we got kettlebells. I actually have pairs of each of these, but half of them are at the gym, so I got singles of everything here. 26 all the way to 150. Storage rack, if you're looking for a storage rack, this is the direction I go over Titan. Uh, it's from Vulcan Strength. They are the most comparable thing to the Rogue Mass storage I've found, but just at a better price point. Um, still waiting on a shelf for them. They had some stocking issues. But then we got our Bells of Steel dumbbells, basic rubber hex all the way from 5 to 80s. Some random attachments and belts and the ever popular leaf blower. Down here is the adjustable Titan bench. It goes flat, it can be inclined, it can even go all the way to decline. This is also probably your biggest bang for buck adjustable bench that's out there when you're trying to balance quality and affordability. Um, right here was a super find. I might do a video on just because it was cool. Uh, but it's just a hammer strength what you find at a commercial gym. Replace the padding, replace some of the stuff here. Built in plate holders, so that's always nice. Coming over here is my most recent purchase and uh, current pride and joy that uh, apparently I can't open. Sometimes this side's easier. You know that garage slope? Garage slope will get you. So it is a functional trainer, but what's really cool about it is that it folds away. So it goes from taking a three foot by three foot space to about five by five. Uh, stacks go up to 150. This is the F7. You can't buy these anymore. The F9 is what they have now, but there's, they're basically the same machine uh, with just a slightly different look, slight componentry differences. Um, that's where I store a lot of my things. To do cable machine work on, they have 150 all the way to, I think, 250 pound stacks you can order with. Pull-up station, it's kind of everything you need for a functional trainer. 
made it higher, which is cool. Deadlift Jack, also a necessity for anyone that feels like actually doing some serious work. Right here, we got the Belt of Steel plate stand, which is cool, complete with drink stand, which is also an absolute necessity to always keep fully stocked with energy drinks. Almost got done with those power aids, almost there. Uh, and as you can see, you can hold your uh, comp plates or whatever plates you got. Keep my change plates here for my bumpers. Speaking of bumpers, full set of rep fitness competition bumpers, and then some Bells of Steel Mighty Grip plates that we did a review on. Overpriced chalk bowl with the better deal than Rogue because it's Titan, right? But also something is stupid because it's Titan because. Uh, the screws are too long on the bottom, so the wheels don't actually rotate. But looks nice, nice place to have chalk. Drop pads, which is probably one of the best products Titan makes, quality and price point. The red drop pads, choice. Another great Titan product, the Safety Squat Bar. Great price, I ended up getting a good deal on this one. Always check their scratch and dent, because their scratch and dent stuff's usually just as good as their fresh stuff, but your better price point. Little easy curl bar, which I'm not even gonna show you because it's easy curl bar. It's five pounds, it's some cheap thing that I got somewhere. Axle bar from Titan. If you're buying an axle and you don't own with like special knurling or something, it's dumb to pay any more than possible. It is just steel tubing. Uh, so Titan's usually where I, where I would go for that. And then the log, this is a great piece of equipment. This is the Rogue 12 inch log. Uh, I love log pressing, it's my favorite lift in Strongman, and I finally upgraded to uh, a nice log. What we got here? A little box for box squatting. That's the uh, 12, 16, 12, 14, and 16 incher. And then this is a great piece of equipment. I originally had the plate loaded one, and then we upgraded to the weight stack version. Again, this was a scratch and dent from Titan, so it was about 300 bucks cheaper than it already normally was. Um, like any cable machine, it's kind of a pain in the butt to put together, but once it's together, this thing is awesome. It's bomb-proof. Really happy with that purchase. And that's it. So if you guys are looking and you saw anything in here you want me to go a little more in-depth in, I probably will at some point, but I'll kick you to the front of the line if you comment below. Let me know what you want to look at. Um, or if there's anything I didn't cover that you saw, I'm sure there's a couple things I missed, then hey, shout it out and uh, we'll get a review out there for it. Talk soon.